Hey guys, welcome to my Murph.ai review video. So as you can tell by today's video title, we're going to be going over the pros and cons of Murph.ai, going for an honest review and literally just going over everything you need to know about Murph.ai so you can make an informed decision to see if this software and this text-to-speech software is going to be right for you. So if you do want to follow along throughout today's Murph.ai review and demo video, I will provide a link down below in the video description so you can actually try out Murph.ai for free. And if you are looking to learn more information about their pricing plans, I'll provide a link down below as well. I'm essentially all on the same website. You just click on pricing as well. Again, the links will be down below to everything we discussed in today's video and to all the different deals. And of course, you know, if you click the top link down below and, open, and click on Open Studio, you can actually go ahead and actually try out the free version of Murph.ai with no credit card required, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, in my case, I'm, I am subscribed with the pro plan, so that's why it has the current plan feature inside of the pricing plan area on the web start because I'm actually currently logged into my account, so just keep that in mind. But if we go inside of Murph.io right here, we can click on create project, and this is where you can actually create a project for either an audio or video format. And if we go back over here as well, there's actually a number of different templates as well. So if we actually scroll down below on their home page, again, you can feel free to click the top link down below in the video description to access this home page. You'll see that there's a voice for every need. So if you're a product developer, educator, marketer, author, corporate coach, podcaster, animator, customer support, there's plenty of different voices for basically all types of people in all different fields. And if we scroll down below as well, there's actually plenty of advertisements and promotional video examples that you can actually go ahead and use Murph for. And this is where if we go over here inside of my members area account right here, you can actually just customize these templates and use them as your own if you want to actually go ahead and do that. Just say the home food delivery app, okay? I can click on start customizing and use this as a template as a start point if I want to go ahead and utilize these business promos. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and go back to their website right here and show you some of these demos because they actually sound really, really cool and really, really realistic, especially when you actually pair their voiceovers inside of Murph with actual background music. So let's just play this one right here. Go fast. Go far. Not bad. So let's just scroll down below and let's click on back to school. Hello Edu Strivers. We are super glad and excited to have you back at school. The last two years have been nothing short of Okay, and let's just go through one more example and let's click on the home food and delivery app. Nothing brings as much joy as authentic home cooked food. Hobby Chef brings communities together through food. By and yeah, as you can see, it sounds really, really realistic and natural. And again, when you combine these voiceovers with actual background music, it really just makes a great combination to really give it that human-like voiceover feel. Now, of course, not all, all the voiceovers inside of Murph are gonna sound 100% realistic, and some of them you can tell they're kind of like robotic, but again, you know, some of these voiceovers are absolutely amazing and can really be amazing, especially when you pair it with background music. So we're going to be going through the voiceovers as well in today's video and where you can actually get, learn more about that as well. So keep on watching for that. But if we go over here, you can see that we've actually gone ahead and used this exact home food delivery app template and we have access to this exact template inside of our account right here. And of course, you can edit all the text right here as you please. You can change the voiceovers right here as well. Very, very simple stuff. So you can actually go ahead and use all these pro voices if you're with the pro plan. If you're not with the pro plan, you can use these ones without the pro. And of course, you know, there's plenty of variety right here as well. So if we go over here to the left hand corner right here, you can actually go ahead and choose the voiceovers based off the accent in English. So you can have like an English, US and Canadian voice a English UK voice, an English Australian voice, uh, all these different accents right here. And of course, other different languages right here as well, including French, German, Spanish, and all that type of stuff, uh, Chinese, Indonesian. Now, of course, if we actually go over here to the pricing plans with the basic plan right here, you basically get access to 10 languages, 
And with the pro plan, you get access to 20 languages. So if you do want a more variety of different languages, then of course the pro plan is going to be a better option for you, dependent. But again, you might not need to go with a pro plan based on the languages. If you just want to go with the 10 languages and you already have the language you want inside the basic plan. So that's something to consider as well. Okay, so if we go over here, we can actually preview the different voiceovers. So let's just preview this one right here. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. All right, so let's go ahead and choose another voice right here. So let's go ahead and choose Marcus. We are innate and we believe in breaking every unattainable beauty. All right, so let's choose Daisy. Welcome to your first sales training video. This video is the first. And let's go ahead and choose a non-pro voice. Let's choose Julia. At ISH, we consider our patients' health and treatment of the utmost importance. That okay, so that's a non-pro voice and that sounds amazing. Now, some of these other voiceovers may sound a bit robotic, so let's just choose Ethan. Hi, this is Ethan. I am among the professional Canadian voices in Murph. Actually, that sounds not bad as well. So, so the voices we've actually previewed so far actually sound really nice, but not all the voices are going to be 100% perfect. So some of them may sound a bit ro like robotic, so just keep that in mind, but still a nice variety to choose from. So if we close this and we go back to the dashboard inside of our account, we can go over here and create a new project. So just leave it as it is click on start blank because initially we went over here to templates and we kind of like messed around the, inside the template section but if we want to create something from scratch we click on start blank and click on create project and you'll see right here this is what it looks like inside of a brand new project so if we go over here to the left column we can actually import a script so you'll simply just select the file and upload your script right here or import it okay then the same thing with media so you can obviously use a stock music right here so like i said during the, the beginning of this video it's really really well it's highly recommended anyway in my opinion at least to add background music to your text-to-speech voiceovers because it just makes it sound a lot more natural and it's a beautiful combination kind of like mixing like sugar and butter together to make a cake you know it just really blends in nicely together okay and of course with the stock music you can choose um, a variety of different like characteristics uh, genres uh, if you want instrumental music you can go ahead and do that so you can do all of that right here and start of stock music which is pretty cool and of course you can go ahead and actually upload your files whether it be images videos or your own music as well and there's an import via URL option as well so import video from YouTube Vimeo or daily motion etc which is pretty cool so yeah, a number of different options in terms of adding media to your projects. And of course, the voice changer as well. Again, we have a video on the voice changer feature exclusively that covers that in a lot of detail separately, okay? So the first thing to do is to actually add some text right off the bat right here. So you'll add your text right here. So if you have like a script, you can go ahead and just copy and paste it right here. Or even just like a paragraph, you can again copy and paste that right here. Again, we can go ahead and choose the voiceover of our choice. So again, let's just choose English UK. In this example, we can go ahead and choose one of these uh, voiceovers if we want to go ahead and do that as well. We can apply the voice to entire project as well by clicking this button right here. So I'm going to be back in a second and go ahead and actually copy and paste some text for an example right here. All right, so there we go. We have my little script right here that I just created right off the bat. Click on generate audio and that will go ahead and set the foundation for our project. So we can also add new blocks as well. So we can add new blocks that add like blocks of text or not a sentence if we wanna go ahead and do that as well. Very simple stuff. We can obviously delete the block. And in terms of the actual like text itself, we can change the pitch, the speed, add pauses in between as well. So there's a lot of customization we can actually do inside of murph.ai right here. So we can of course click on play. It'll be build a preview for us and we can obviously demo the actual voice hey guys welcome to my brand new murph so i've also changed up the timeline right here and if you want to basically add videos to your timelines or music to your timelines just simply click on add media and again you can just choose the song that you want to go ahead and choose or upload your own music click on this one right here and you'll see that it's added to your timeline right here and of course we can go ahead and adjust the um, settings of the volume for both the well for all the um, elements right here so including the um, voiceover essentially right here the video and for the background music right here and you can also allow the auto docking feature to reduce the volume of the background track when the voiceover is played so 
very handy features right here. And if we go to the home page right here, I really I just want to emphasize this as well. So um, obviously there's lots of different products right here. But um, in terms of like, you know, these vo what are these voiceovers for? Like what you can use them for? You can use it for e-learning, advertisements, explainer videos, presentations, product demos, audiobooks, YouTube videos is a big one as well. Podcasts, Spotify ads, high VR voices, and video games, of course, as well. So, plenty of ways we can utilize the uh, MRF software in terms of like what you can use it to, to create with. So, I wanted to briefly go over that as well. So, in terms of actually exporting our project, whether it be a collection of a video or um, background music and a voiceover, again, there's lots of ways to export this. All you have to do is simply click on export right here. And we can export, you know, either a video, so an MP4 or a .mov file. We can make it include subtitles on the video. We can download YouTube codes. In terms of just the voiceover only, we can make it a single file, split by blocks. Again, there's multiple different options. Um, it could be an MP3 format, of course. Um, in terms of the quality, it can be low, medium, high. And obviously the channel right here as well. The third option right here is going to be a voice plus music. So you can download that as a single file. Um, as in terms of format, MP3 and all the other options right here as well. The same thing for quality and channel. So you can go ahead and do that as well. And of course you can download your script as well if you want to go ahead and do that, which is also a nice little bonus feature that we can utilize right here inside of Murph. So um, very nice stuff. We can go ahead and share this as well. So we can create like a share link and you, yeah, you can go ahead and share that, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. So. Yeah, you can share your project with our team for feedback, which is not bad as well. So, yeah. So, a number of different things we can do. Obviously, again, you know, in terms of exporting it, it's very, very simple and simplistic to do. So, I definitely want to show you how you can go ahead and do that. Again, if I wanted to expand this project just for demo purposes for this review video, I can simply click on Add Block right here. I can put in some more text. So, I'll just put in the exact same text just for demonstration purposes. All right. And I can easily choose another voiceover and include that in the final project if I wanted to go ahead and export that. So let's just choose Martin right here. I'm Martin, a professional American voice. In okay, click on select. And again, this is just a bit of a demo, just I'm messing around um, right here live in front of you guys. So um, I can show you basically how you can use the software and give you a bit of review. So again, you wanna obviously put in your actual script right here and you can put in multiple different voiceovers in a single project right here and export that as a single voiceover um, audio file or as a video if you want to include like video um, media in your project. So yeah, um, that's basically it for today's Murph video. Um, I will have a, another video where we go over the Murph.ia pricing in a lot more detail. Um, I will have another video where we go over how you can actually get a free trial for Murph.ai as well. So it's not really a free trial per se, but like how you can get it for free and try it out for free, which is basically the free plan right here. So if you do want to learn more about Murph, I will provide a link down below in the video description. You can actually try it out for free if you do want to like test it out without any commitment. And um, I will be updating the links down below to make sure you can get the best deal and the best offers that are available for Murph for not only now, but also in the future. So if you're watching this video from like a year or two or even beyond that, the links down below will be updated so you can get the best deal for Murph um, right here. So yeah, just wanted to create this uh, quick review video. And um, yeah, thanks for watching today's Murph.ai review and demo video. Thanks for watching.